Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and we are here at Telecom TV's very first own event, which is a DSP Leaders Forum in Windsor in West London. Now, I'm talking with Constantine Polychronopoulos. Have I got that right? Absolutely. I hope I have. Perfect. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Constantine, you are the VP and CTO of the Telco Business Unit at VMware. That is correct. Good. Well, thanks for talking to us. It's a pleasure. Let's start with this. Predictions are that in the near future, I mean, in the very near future, at least 25% of data will be created in real time at the edge. That's a quarter of all the data created in real time at the edge. That's a massive prospect. Do you see a role for CSPs in supporting edge-generated edge data? And if so, what will that role be and how can they prepare for it? Absolutely. Uh, CSPs are generating data already from the devices today, right? Uh, whether it's, that's going to be 25% or 30% or whatever uh, is up for debate. But there's no question that increasingly we're going to see more and more data being generated at the edge, uh, both real-time and uh, non-real-time. And one of the, of the big questions is how do you manage this mass amount, massive amount of data, right? We're talking about uh, one terabyte uh, of data generated every day by um, autonomous uh, driven cars or more, right? And uh, you bring them to the charging station, you plug them in, you suck in all the data. What do you do with the data, right? Backhauling the data back to the cloud is very expensive. Uh, in real time applications, you need to make decisions at the edge and actuate the decisions, translate them into actuation, soft or hard actuation to the IoT devices, right, or the, you know, devices in general. So there's no question about that. And uh, when it comes to the telco, to the CSPs in particular, uh, wireless CSPs, they're going to play a vital role because many of these devices, many of these use cases are going to be delivered through 4G and 5G. I heard you speaking on a panel earlier today, um, and there were discussions about the edge and where the edge might actually be. What's your take on that? We've just been talking about this, that these events happening at Absolutely. The edge, where is it? There are so many uh, <laughs> incarnations of the edge, right? And we believe that eventually we're going to be looking at uh, uh, a multitude of different edge deployments, right? Near edge, far edge, core. Um, and at VMware, we believe very much in the hybrid multi-cloud environment, right? We focus on enabling that to be seamlessly provisioned, right? And applications to run uh, in highly distributed clouds, multi-clouds, hybrid clouds. So um, it doesn't matter really where the edge lives, whether it's at the base station, at the run, or at the near edge or on the enterprise. Um, what matters is really for us to be able to bring the technologies that make the edge a reality, and that means automation, automatic provisioning, auto placement of applications and services. Most importantly, the ability to harness data locally, provide the compute and storage to do compute locally, and have an efficient model of uh, dealing with distributed data management. Um, so this is a critical area for us as well, and I believe that VMware is leading the way towards the multi-cloud that will give rise to the edge, a multitude of edge deployments. Thank you. Moving on, it's clear that going forward, microservices with containers are going to play an increasing role in the delivery of telecom services. Do you think this is going to be an evolutionary process or a revolutionary one? And how can CSPs best prepare for the transition, whatever that might be? That's a great question. I, I definitely believe it's an evolution. It's not a revolution in the sense that um, virtualization at large uh, becomes a fundamental requirement for the software-defined future, the software-defined cloud, the software-defined edge, etc. The abstraction, whether it's you know hypervisor-based or container-based, cloud-native, doesn't matter as long as the performance is there uh, and the tools to be able to um, uh, seamlessly, um, you know, abstract essentially the physical infrastructure from the uh, virtual infrastructure, right? And focus on the virtual infrastructure and the value-add services, the, where the you know the value lies. So. Um, you know, cloud native containers is just a natural evolution, yep. I believe, of virtualization. 
At VMware, we're integrating uh, Cloud Native into our ESXi hypervisor in what we call WCP, which provides essentially the view of a Cloud Native um, abstraction to the user, even though it runs in the VMware stack, having the value, providing the value, or the, you know, the additional value of having the full segmentation uh, and security and microservices that uh, virtualization provides with all the benefits of cloud native and Kubernetes based workloads. Interesting stuff. Constantine Polychronopoulos, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. It's a pleasure.